The Line, a new urban development. Many projects around the world share the same goal, building a sustainable and eco-friendly city. One example is the Songdo International Business District in South Korea, Forest City in Malaysia, or the new administrative capital in Egypt. Although some of the smart cities have been successfully implemented, most of them have failed to date and are maybe too ambitious. Recently, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia announced a whole new smart city called The Line. Unlike most cities that are aligned along streets, The Line or NOM is built in a single line running 170 kilometers into the country. Additionally, it uses renewable energy in order to completely eliminate gasoline cars. The concept manages to meld the need for public space and the need for transport as well as accommodating the needs of both locals and tourists. It is planned that members of the public will be able to live alongside commuters on a surface level, whilst two underground levels provide railway transportation, along with a high-speed train that can travel across 170 kilometers. The high-speed line is one of the many doubts people have about executing such a megaproject. When you take into account the need to move from any point to another in 20 minutes, the task seems almost impossible. Even if you sped through your journey and made zero stops, just to make it in time. The average speed of the train would need to be 510 km per hour just to reach its destination in time. For reference, China's $35 billion bullet train from Beijing to Shanghai is one of the fastest commercial trains we know of and has an average speed of 380 km per hour. But the train that would go beneath the line would have to be much faster than this. In addition, many people already live on the planned site of the line and they will surely protest their removal. Relocating these people against their will is a very controversial endeavor and would most likely have a hugely negative impact on the line. If this megaproject also intended to attract international customers, there's a chance it would quickly lose credibility or be seen in a negative light if the relocation of residents were required for this project to come into fruition. The current economic climate makes funding the project near impossible. Specifically, Saudi Arabia would have to come up with $500 billion, which is just unrealistic. For instance, $500 billion is more than the GDP of Greece, Croatia, and New Zealand combined. This figure isn't just pocket change for Saudi Arabia either, they have a GDP of $800 billion. In conclusion, such a high price is probably too expensive even for a country as wealthy as Saudi Arabia. Actually the line seems like a more of a sci-fi movie premise, but is this something that you think will be possible one day? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.